he break down to all the um, how special of a pass this was. That was a perfect delivery, and it hit the player right in the chest. Knock loose. Has a chance, unbothered by the defense as he drills it. We are at halftime in Game 7. Let's get you to our NBA Live studios in Orlando and hand it over to Jalen Rose for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Jalen. Thanks for joining us for the Halftime Report. The second half is about to get started. Miami's got it. Fires the three. Buries it on the catch and shoot. And watching all these great shooters on the floor at once, it almost mesmerizes me. It's like you're watching the shot in slow motion. The backspin, it gives off the feel that the ball's going in every time. He throws it down. It's a new day in sports when you see little guards dunk the ball like they are big. That's called a 40-inch vertical. Durant across the timeline. His guy's down by nine. In the slam. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters. But when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. 4-3. Tough shot. He hits. Yeah, and what we're seeing is a brilliant offensive display. You have ball movement, player movement, and great shooting to top it off. You get those three things going, you're going to be a dynamic offensive unit. Knock loose. Big stuff and a lot of traffic on the way to the rim. Here on their home floor, they're chipping away. I mean, does this crowd have a pulse? Are they even alive? Sometimes when you make a play like that, your crowd needs to get you back in this ball game. Knocked loose. That's a turnover. It goes the other way. Nice finish at the rim. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. Oh, he's denied. Oh, big man doing work right there. For three. Had to rush that one, and it's no good. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. That's a dangerous spot. Kevin Durant wide open. He nails it. He's a modern-day big that plays like a 6'2 guard. Scary. It's the Heat with the possession. Fires the three. He got it off in time, but that shot, no good. Here's Irving into the front court. Nine-point margin. Nice pace. Sets it up and slams it down. He took it out on the rim that time. Oh, there's no better feeling than after throwing that one down, hanging on the rim a little bit, looking at your opponent beneath you, making him recognize that's where you'll be the entire ball game. Shot from the lane. Won't go. Here's a chance from long range. Had to force that one, but it's no good. Into the front court, it's Irving. The margin standing now at seven. Knocked loose. Going to launch beyond the arc. That no good. Had no choice but to rush it there. Bam out of bio. Ah, tips it. Look at the fight for that ball. We'll get a jump. Now it's been scrappy. Let's see who can take the jump. Let's it fly from beyond the arc, and he was forced into taking that one. It's no good. Nets have the basketball.
Beyond the arc for three. Had to rush that one. Kyrie across the timeline. Right now, down seven. Let's it fly from long range. He got it off in time, but that shot, no good. From long range, it's good. Defense has to pick things up. I know there are refs on the court all the time, but it doesn't mean they can see every play. Maybe defensively, grab his jersey, step on his toe, do something to kind of change up his pace. Get back, get back, get back. Lazy pass there, and it's intercepted. Irving. He drills the three, and into.